Hello, good evening and welcome to News 360 from the News Hub. I am Portia Gabo. And my name is Parkus Yasari. Coming up in the next 60 minutes. News 360 headlines is brought to you by Deluxe Paint. And Piccadilly Biscuits. My Life Insurance. Prince Gold Chief Executive Officer and Apia Mentor granted bail to the tune of one billion with five sureties. National Disaster Management Organization sets to demolish 60-year-old kindergarten structure housing pupils of Denchambua District of the Eastern Region. Also in the bulletin tonight, Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives set to address Ghana's parliament as part of Year of Return. On the international front, more than 100 people, including 26 children, dead in airstrikes on hospitals, schools, markets and bakeries in northwest Syria. Later in sports, the fate of uh, Ghana coach Kwesi Apia to be decided on Monday following failure at the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. Right, we've got details of all these stories plus many more coming up in the next 60 minutes. In our very first story, an Accra Circuit Court has granted the Chief Executive Officer of Men's Gold, Nanapia Mensa, a.k.a. Namwan Bill, in the sum of one billion cities with five sureties. The court, presided over by Jane Harriet Akwelekwe, ordered that three of the sureties must be justified. Namwan is also required to report to the police every Wednesday. Here's a report by Salom Amenya. Prosecutors have charged Namwan, his wife and sister, with his two companies, Men's Gold and Brew Marketing Consult, with 13 counts of abetment to defraud by false pretense, defrauding by false pretense, engaging in money deposit business without license, dealing in gold without license, and money laundering. In court on Thursday, before the case could begin, hundreds of customers of Men's Gold and sympathizers had besieged the court premises before Namwan was brought in. They want a payment plan on retrieving their blocked up funds. For God be so good to us, now he has been granted bill. The next action is that you should come out with payment plan and pay us. Period. It is very clear. There are stories. There are things that are going on. So we want government to just understand that this must be handled by the judiciary alone. So that issues of data bank, blah, blah, and all those things, we don't, we don't want them to interfere in this. Men's gold customers, we are dying. Men's gold customers, and we are them watch Kwadana, Wu. A man for your stroke, or be a wedge at the papa, and then a mammy ho. Says the embassy, yet a miasse, see a money bill, and it's a poem work where mo, not your customers, and come my dear penny. The plea of Nanapia Mesa Namwan was taken on all 13 counts preferred against him, to which he pleaded not guilty. Namwan was granted bail after his lawyer, Kwame Kufu, moved an application for bail. He told the court Namwan did not abscond or jump bail as being speculated, but left the country to Dubai to retrieve some $39 million in investment with a company in a gold deal gone bad. Kwame Kufu further argued that the men's gold CEO's return was on his own terms and could not be considered a flight risk, adding he would always avail himself to stand trial. He also prayed the court to take into consideration when granting bail that his client has already surrendered his passport to the state and several of his assets and properties, including 70 vehicles, have already been seized by the state. Therefore, the court should grant him bail in favorable terms. The prosecutor, assistant superintendent of police, ASP Sylvester Sari, read the brief fact indicating investigations into the matter are still ongoing and did not oppose or support the bail. The judge granted the bail in the sum of 1 billion cities. The case has been adjourned to August 12. 
Meanwhile, the Napier Mensa was at the Criminal Investigations Department headquarters moments after the court's decision to initiate the paperwork on the bail conditions. After about two hours, he, together with police CID officers, stormed out of the premises to go evaluate some of his assets for his bail bond. The beleaguered men's gold CEO got to the CID headquarters a few minutes after 10 a.m. He stayed within the offices of the CID for about two hours, concluding the paperwork regarding his bail bond. To meet the one billion CD bill with five sureties, three of which must be justified, Nam One, as he is popularly known, came out of the offices accompanied by some officers to go assess his properties being used for his bail conditions. At the premises of the CID were some of his supporters covered in white powder to justify victory. They warned the state to allow him to complete the process and pay off customers whose investments have been locked up. He was whisked away in a white tinted SUV in the company of some police officers with the hope of concluding the asset valuation before close of day. In other news, the National Disaster Management Organization is to demolish a 60-year-old kindergarten structure in the building of Kusi of the Dinchambua district of the eastern region. And the building, which was ripped off during a rainstorm, has been declared a death trap. In 1960, the Methodist Primary School housed in this structure has seen no major refurbishment. Ripped off roofs, gaping cracks. The building has been declared uninhabitable. A severe rainstorm in 2018 ripped off the building that housed about 70 kindergarten pupils. In a desperate attempt to get help, the school mounted pressure on the municipal assembly and the education office for assistance. The school on its own has purchased roofing sheets to roof part of the ripped off roof. The rainstorm ripped it off mm. and you've been able to put some few ceilings on it again. It still doesn't make it safe. It's safe some, somehow. It's safe somehow. When you say it's safe somehow, how do you mean? Because for the, for the uh, walls, they are strong. The walls, they are strong. Just that the roofing caused the problem. The assembly says compromising the safety of the pupils is not an option to be explored. Some of the pupils have been moved into a new structure put up by the assembly, but many still sit in the disaster-prone classroom. In the last three months, the municipal chief executive, Seth Biri Kurang Ofosu says he has been forced to use assemblies internally generated funds to construct a three-unit classroom with an office block for the pupils. We hurriedly put this one in place. So now that this one is in place and the kids are moving, we will come and pull it down. Uh, we have, I think they are using only one classroom for KG. But we've spoken with the church and the church is putting up a place for them. Immediately they finish, we move the case out and pull it down. Whilst the school recognizes the intervention by the assembly, there remains an urgent need of decks yet to be supplied. We will review our budget very soon and we will include furniture in it. So hopefully by the end of the year, the assembly will also provide some of the, the furniture to some of the schools. We cannot do all at the same time, but uh, gradually we know we will get there. Uh, let's now go to Parliament, where the Speaker of the House of Representatives for the Un United States Congress, Nancy Patricia Pelosi, is expected to address Ghana's Parliament on Wednesday. This was disclosed by the Majority Leader, Osei Mensa Bonsu, Friday during the presentation of the business of the House for the upcoming week. Nancy Pelosi is a member of the Democratic Party. She has served as Speaker of the United States House of Representatives since January 2019. She is the only woman to have held that office and is the highest ranking elected woman in the United States history. As Speaker of the House, she is third in the presidential line of succession immediately after the Vice President. 
Indications are that Nancy Pelosi will be part of a delegation comprising several members of the Congressional Black Caucus as part of the Year of Return celebrations in Ghana. The Speaker of the House of Representatives of the United States Congress, the Right Honorable Nancy Patricia Pelosi, is scheduled to address the House at 10 a.m. Accordingly, members are urged to be a punctual to grant audience to our august guests. Away from Parliament, economic activities between residents of Orienchiman in the Sin North District and Shidim in the Dunkwa District of the Central Region have ceased due to the non-availability of a bridge on the Pra River at Asinkushia. Transporting goods and passengers is now a challenge. Timothy in Chiotu has more in this report. The bridge was discovered 25 years ago, but numerous calls and appeals on the successive government to construct proved futile until the ruling New Patriotic Party MPP government assumed office in 2017 and started the construction. The project commenced in January 2018, but nearly eight months down the lane, it halted with the contractor packing out. Sources indicate that the contractor did not receive the needed funds to complete the project. The bridge, when completed, would link Orange Man and Freedom. Equipment meant for the work have been deserted, leaving some to rust. The president of the Orange Traditional Council, Uhuna Bobrim Pra Ajin Sem the Sith, who is also the chief of Asin Kushia, admitted the bridge, when completed, would boost the economic fortunes of the area. The bridge will link River Pra to River Ofe and therefore Dunkwao. If anybody is going to Accra from Dunkwao, the person will spend three hours. If we are able to finish the bridge, it will take 40 minutes. So that's why I'm pressing that this is, this is a, a very important infrastructure. The Member of Parliament for Asen North constituency, Abina Drua Mensah, also promised that the government would soon mobilize funds to complete the project. We're very happy when the government came to our aid because it had been like over 25 years that this thing had been taken to the government to come and help construct a bridge of our race. The contractors came to do the work. But unfortunately, for some time now, they've left the site. But even that, I know, I know for sure that the government is working to get the contractors back on site to complete the river for us. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. As parent assembly member for the La Lue electoral area in the Tungkatamansu municipality of the Greater Accra region, Regina Didia Mankwa says she is poised for victory come December 10. A hairdresser by profession, Regina hopes to improve upon infrastructure and the well-being of constituents in the La Lue electoral area. All mission has been following her campaign and reports. Her posters and banners are ready and campaigning for the district level elections has started in earnest. Right now I'm on my campaign. Every morning and evening, I move to my people. As you know, I have to move to them. They will not come to me. So day in, day out, I will move with my unit committee members. And I know I have a strong team. And by God's grace, we are going to win the election. This time around, next time I'm about for she can assembly woman, assembly man, Yakuchi, Yakuchi, and I'm about. In Bakunin, can you have a your daughter name? When I feel like I'll be a shame, your phone, she can't hear me. If you're like a Wobian, Lolly Beck will come here, 
ni bridge eh lolly town she if you make a bridge any kind of ekumo there is a broken down bridge in this community it's not been faced please face it for us when elected enye go ba tun we ni o mo panye fai nye ba ko nye ba ko ni lolly jani aton awo nye ye den chepo nye yu ake eh bi ane no ni nu ba nye fi e nye nye ba fi fi na ka no a yo ya chance there is a saying that what a man can do, a woman can do better. She has a chance. She must be committed. You for you. Ni no ni ebi ta wo ni fi an. No ba gbele gba ndes yo ni ba be ko. Ka wa vote wo na no ko. When we vote, the assembly members don't deliver. I'm advising her to deliver on her promises. Regina Dediamankwa now has to sell her campaign message to constituents in the Lalo electoral area in the Pongkatamazu municipality of the Greater Accra region. And she even has the support of the men. Uh, you will win. I'm assuring you. We will vote and campaign for her. The roads here are motorable. Please face it for us. I have some challenges in my area. For example, if you go to Pentacle Junction in Dortia, there is a certain bridge there, and Obi-Wan wanted to fix that bridge. And I cannot do it only unless people help me with it. I called a steel bender. He said I need about 30 iron rocks. One is 33 Ghana cities. I have to buy cement and woods and then the workmanship. I need some street lights for my people. I need a lot of things. So please, I need people to help me so that I can move forward to whatever I want to do. The district level elections will be held on December 10 this year. All the best to Regina. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching. Portia for uh, mission. Now, on our MTN video report tonight, our citizen journalist Benjamin Kobner highlights on the poor state of a road at Atimetim Masi in the Ashanti region. At the Kwabe district in the Ashanti region. This is the very road which connects towns like Edibinsu. Masi and other towns to Keitia. This is the very road which was reconstructed not more than a year ago. And now, here is the current situation and the current condition of this very road. This road here has now turned into a one way road which greatly caused traffic and a very risky road where an accident can easily occur. We humbly ask for support from our dear government and our dear Ghanaians who can help put hands together to fix this road. I am Benjamin Kobna, reporting from Etimeti. Well, you can also send your video report via WhatsApp on 055-143-344. That's 055-143-344. You're still watching News 360 live from my news hub here at Adesawa in Kandakura. Still ahead in the bulletin, we've got the very latest in business. We've got sports news and international news.
Hello out there, good evening and welcome to the business news segment here on News 360. Now the Minister of Planning, Professor George Jan Bafo, has revealed an estimated amount of $2 billion from investors' funding will be needed for the Ghana Trade Fair site's redevelopment project. He will speak at the redevelopment project investor conference here in Accra. The Trade Fair land at La. A suburb of Accra was acquired by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah by legislative instrument in 1960. Construction of the center commenced in 1962 and completed in 1966 for the first international fair proposed for February 1966 but was postponed to February 1967. The trade fair has now become a pale shadow of itself as most of the structures there have outlived their usefulness and are in bad state. This is about to change as the Ghana Trade Fair Company Limited has a master plan for the redevelopment of the site. The new master plan for the 156 acre land was designed by the British Ghanaian architect, Sir David Ajayi. 12 to 24 months for the infrastructure. Then any time from month 12 to 18, you can start with the horizontal development. And so you find first phase um, infrastructure, second phase the horizontal, and of course all your landscape and finishes that come with it. CEO of the Ghana Trade Fair Company Limited, Dr. Agnes Sedu, noted that GTFC will still maintain its core mandate. The project is expected to be completed in five years when the development starts. We have set out guidelines as to what percentage of your workforce you have to hire locally? What percentage of the materials can we support and help you source out locally? Ghana industry needs to be engaged in getting this project done. The phase one of the master plan will include retail malls, a convention center, exhibition halls, hotels, office parks, and made in Ghana village on approximately 100 acres of land. The phase two is to be developed into a marina, boardwalk, high-end apartments, amusement parks, and other facilities around the African lake on the residual parcel of land of about 56 acres. Minister of Planning, Professor George Janbafo, spoke about the benefits of the project. This estimated $2 billion investment that will generate additional tax revenue and I think the finance minister like that, from the new businesses and new uh, developments, and then an estimated 10,000 jobs, including 3,000 direct and 7,000 indirect ones, will be created throughout the value chain. The only structure that will survive the redevelopment is the round pavilion, which will serve as made in Ghana pavilion. Away from the trade fair, Total Petroleum Ghana has rewarded 37,000 of its cherished Trotro taxi drivers and motorcyclists for their loyalty since the inception of the Total Troxy Club. The Total Troxy Club is a special package to help commercial drivers reduce their fuel and oil costs. For Ghanaian commercial drivers, which will empower them buy fuel and other fuel products at a cheaper price from all total service stations across the country. The Total Truck C Club is a promotion to give drivers and motorists a 5% discount at every purchase on the total product aimed at helping commercial drivers and motorists to save more. Purchases made by commercial drivers are tracked by the Total Trucks Club card, allowing them win prices every three months. Drivers are not appreciated in this country, but with us at Total, we believe that the drivers, they are giving much to the nation, they are giving much to the economy. When you buy any liter per liter, we give you 2 percent discount per liter. Then when you buy lubricant, we give you 5 percent uh, on, the, on the discount. The Total Card Territory Manager, Rudolf Beidu Reko, said Troxy Club Card, which was introduced one year ago, has become the preferred choice giving customers cashless, convenient and secured means of paying for their transactions at any total station. Notice that drivers don't have insurance. 
rather the cars that they are driving is mandatory for them to do insurance and road ready but they themselves don't have this personal insurance cover so we we've also added on board what we call the group personal accident insurance cover so as a driver if you find yourself in a, any work related activity which is accident we are going to take care of you up to six thousand Ghana cities he stressed fuels are huge cost components for operating taxi, trotro and motorcycling services, compelling total petroleum Ghana to seek ways to enhance the benefit packages of all members of the total truck C club. We are in difficult times where fuel is not very expensive. So we decided to do something that will release the burden on them. So we, we brought this club which gives them benefit. So we Total Trossy Club is a club for commercial drivers. When you sign up, it's free. There's no hidden charges. But rather, you rather enjoy benefits. The Total Troxy Club crowned its first six cherished customers for being topmost members in terms of fuel purchase since the introduction of the promo a year ago in commemoration of the club's first anniversary celebration the Troxy Club has introduced Troxy Friday and Troxy Hene Award for its members. This means that the first 20 members of the club who purchase fuel on the last Friday of every month will each receive a free gift. The Troxy Club has so far rewarded over 37,000 customers. Well, that's all for the very latest in business news. For more business news stories, you can log on to our website, www.3news.com. Right, so tonight we deal with reggae first. Reggae dancehall musician Russ Kuku has been busy in the studio working on a 15-track album titled Kuntun Kununku. The Strictly Reggae album features Black Prophet, Samini, Stoneboy and other artists from Jamaica. Russ Kuku is optimistic that the album, which drops in September of 2019, will win him many laurels. Huh? Hey. Kuntum Kunungu is an African word, the name for the Most High. So we represent Africa, we represent black people. Kuntum Kunungu, when you listen to it, you have songs praising the Most High, songs that talks about life, song for the woman, song for mama, and the last one I think will be. Papa, yeah man, so that it will balance and to become Alpha and Omega. So, Kuntun Kunungu is not a joke thing. Eja, me di kutu siya mi bompa ye, mosai ja mi bonka ye, unto unko na una ye di ye ye bi abe ya ma ye. I know we have a couple of songs on it, but then how did it all start for it? Yeah man, we've been working on the album since January. We are working on 15 songs and we are almost done. Yeah. It's not easy. No, I don't sleep. I'm always here because of Kuntum Kununku. Yeah, so we need to put some things in other music so that when the reggae album comes out, people will know that yeah, it is Kuntum Kununku and it is the heaviest, truly. A couple of times I've heard that it is difficult getting people to work with and all that. Did you encounter any of that? Uh, no, 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 no. For this album, yeah, I've given it to everybody and they are all working on it. Some have received, some I'll be receiving very soon. So, Everything nice. Beautiful smile make the rust nature rise. No matter what it costs, girl, no one pay the price. Star and me be a man, we're star and me go. When you are when you are when you are man, you are man, you are man. And who was featured on this project? We've got Black Prophet, the legend, Samini, the legend. We have Stone Boy, we have Miss V, we have Brahma from Jamaica. We have the Kerry James from the National Jamaica. representation. Yeah, man. Why strictly reggae? Yeah, because reggae is good music. Any time you hear reggae, it's about good music. It's about letting the people know who they are. To tell the woman that you don't bleach. Don't do this, don't wear eyelashes. If you wear it, fire burn you. If you do this, that's all the songs solid. All right, so next year, by this time, Kuntun Kununku, 10 1. What do you see? 
Kundun Kunun Kun will be the album of the year next year because all the songs are hot, nice. You can't just skip one track. Next year by this time, Rascal should be crowned the Reggae Artist of the Year and then Reggae Song of the Year. Well, that's the very ambitious Russ Kuku. Mm. Uh, we, we wait to see what happens uh, next year by this time. Kuntum yeah. Kununku. Yeah, it's a big word, all isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> all the best. We wish him all the best. Well, that's how we conclude News 36. See, came to life for my news hub here at Adisao in Kanda, Accra. We return to the party. My name is Pakus Yasari. I'm Portia Gabo. And I'm Miriam Osayajman. Have a good weekend. <laughs>